Okay, this one we started oh, four days ago. But I'll put a picture up of what it used to look like. It used to have a, a boiler sitting there. And all these pumps, all these five pumps were out here. All the piping was like right here in the way of everything. So what we did, scrapped everything. And I'll throw a few pictures up there to show the progress. And we, uh, besides the installer did that goofy crap, but whatever, it works. So what we did is we took the old boiler out, put the Navian on the wall, vented it out. We got a SR506 switching relay. This is a power monitor. So our power monitor comes in there. Any brownouts, power surge. So that's all in there. Gotta set that up still. But right now we're just finishing up the condensate. That's all we had left was condensate pump. So setting up the power monitor. And we're gonna bleed the system. I think it's mostly blood already. But uh we're just getting the condensate pump all taken care of. Putting a neutralizer in. So that neutralizer will go right there. Right into the condensate pump and then over to the sump. So let me get that on the wall. But yeah, this was quite a job. I had it scheduled for four days and it ended up being a five day just because I didn't have much time. Um... I had to leave early on a Friday. But if I didn't leave early, we would have had it done. So let me get that on the wall. Condensate neutralizer. And then we will go from there. All right, so condensate neutralizer mounted. Nice little unit. Navi clean. NHB 110. Five pumps. Voltage monitor, pump control. Pipes come from everywhere. That boiler system only, I had it scheduled for four days, but like I said, I ran into a problem with uh, having the, I had to take my son back to the hospital on like the fourth day. I would have been done on the fourth day, but it ran into five because obviously I had personal issues. But I, like I said, I'm gonna throw some pictures up there like before and I did create a post on this um, just through the community tab I did create like I think two or three posts on it I'm not sure I can't remember but uh that was a doozy of a boiler doozy it was just the original one that was in there was oversized uh, the guy who originally owned the house he used to be a mechanical contractor and back in the day when he put that boiler in back in the 80s it was pretty decent stuff I mean he had it set up it was it's pretty decent the setups pretty good but there was pipes everywhere pipes everywhere it was just like wasn't redone it was just added on to so I had a lot of pipes I had to move um, it was just a, it was a big, big job, but it came out good. Can't complain. 
better than it was let's put it that way and it runs great customers super happy they're amazed they're like how did you even make that out of that and that's what we do you know we just strip out everything and start from scratch and do the best we can um, sometimes sometimes even the new stuff comes out a little wacky this one the supply came out a little wacky it probably should have almost changed I probably should have had the boiler over on the right side instead of the left side probably would have worked out better but a lot of my it's really it's really hard to say either way it would have been it's just either way it's a lot of work either way but I think next time if I was to do it again I would probably move the boiler on the right side and have the pumps on the left but I'm not worried about it now and it works great all right guys you guys know what you need to do hit up the GoFundMe for helping my son with cancer Zell Venmo take your pick um, coming up on surgery here this week the 7th of June and yeah I'm nervous everyone's nervous the whole family's nervous especially my son but he feels more comfortable than he did before with the other surgeon which is a huge bonus but like subscribe hit me up in comments concerns and I will see you on the next one